what's up guys as you can tell right here is the truck Matco Michaels here let's take a look let's see what it's got come on Must not have sold enough again this week. That's it. That's it. Must have not have sold enough. She's going to be off next week, so. You have to put him on a daily quota. He is. Don't let him come home till he gets it done. Shop's closed, man. <laughs> this, you can go to Walmart at night up there at Corinth. <laughs> to the, there's plenty of places just, you can. Just sit in the parking lot. It's almost anywhere I go, I have somebody come knock on the door. That's good. Hey, I used to buy tools. I was just wondering if I could look around. Yeah. It's like that guy that texted me yesterday, you know, wanted yeah. to, to uh, meet up. We, he just moved here. And, so. Yep. That's good. I think, I think we're going to meet up next week. He's starting at one of my shops, so I go there on Wednesdays, so. Damn, make that money, man. Got to sell tools, right? I see it. If not, she rides along. <laughs> She done took the brownie plate away. You must have really been bad. Well, I actually don't like chocolate, so I don't eat the brownies. So uh -oh. Maybe you need to get some cookies, and when he does good, you can give him a cookie. I might. <laughs> Something new, huh? Well, this has kind of been around. It's been kind of hard to get your hands on. They've been in a couple of flyers. So everybody likes listening to music when they work. Yep. So this is a waterproof speaker. And it's been my number one selling item here recently if i have it on the shelf it's gone so i kind of mm -hmm. gotta hide it but it should it, i've seen people in pools with them and everything else i mean i'm not gonna throw it in water just to make sure but kind of a neat design i like the color of it uh it's got a hook that you can hang it from main thing stick it on your box listen to music uh of course it's got a phone feature also where you can answer a phone call and talk mm -hmm. uh up and down power of course uh, pretty nice little loudspeaker everybody's used to the long black bar yeah style that one's great it's magnetic i like to see it you know i see people sticking it on their toolbox and stuff that's great um this one's not magnetic this would be one that you sit on top but i think the main thing about this one is which when they first started going in the flyers, it was right there in the middle of the pool season. Mm -hmm. They were just so hard to get our hands on. We couldn't, we couldn't have just a whole lot. But pool season is going to come again, and it's waterproof. And if you're like us with three kids, there's no telling whatever is going to happen. Oh yeah, there's going to be uh, some like, splashes <laughs> and water guns uh, and everything else. I mean, we could be sitting on the front porch and get doused and somebody spilling their drink so mm -hmm. i really like the fact that this is waterproof i like the way it's got the protective rubber coating over it uh i just all around like that speaker uh let me get some part number uh, somebody's gonna need that yeah so seven to eight hours play time uh two to three and a half hours charge time so really and truly two and a two and a half to three hours to listen to it for seven to eight hours, I think that's pretty good. I think mm -hmm. the black bar, the sound bar, I think it's like a 12 hour play time, but it's definitely not waterproof. You don't yeah. want it. Uh, seen a lot of these sell. Uh, I like them. I like I know the that black bar is really nice. Like yeah. it will fill that whole shop with sound. It does really good for. Well, you find out, small. you find out who likes to listen to music loud and who likes to just listen to music. Because if they come to me and they go, hey, man, this just ain't loud enough. I'm like, okay, you're trying to go deaf. Yeah. Because that black bar is super loud to me. <laughs> yeah. So if it's not loud enough, you're probably trying to go deaf. So, but yeah. uh, I wish this one had a magnet, but I think the reason it don't is because of the way uh, it's shaped. There's just mm -hmm. not a good spot. There's not a flat spot to have a magnet. I think that's why the hook's there. But again, I mean, just sit it on top of your box instead of having it uh, where somebody can knock it off. Uh, trying to see if there's anything I missed on it. But yeah, real good speaker. The next thing I want to know, I know you have some, uh, and we don't actually have them on our truck yet, but I want to do a size comparison between 
the nipics that we're carrying right now as far as the small ones and the baby pliers mm -hmm. uh, we're working on getting those to where we can get them um but i went ahead and ordered some through nipics that way i could see them and actually i like to use most of the stuff that i sell first to know the quality and stuff like that mm -hmm. so i um, love the baby pair yeah it's cool but i catch myself grabbing that one more times than i do the little one yeah just well, because of the size of them you know yeah. and the the red handles right well and that was my only question when we first got started was uh when they talked about coming out was the red handles is that going to be a big problem and they said or what we could research i don't think anybody at nipix ever come out and told us but i think the the main gist of it was they were going to go away from the red handles to make it smaller to mm -hmm. fit in your watch pocket and right. stuff we had that conversation I, I don't think a watch pocket's even hardly ever used anymore mm -hmm. i mean i know some people still use it but in my opinion that that is irrelevant whether it fits in the watch the, the watch pocket because i'm not sticking it there i carried it i carried these now for what a month and a half two months i think and i like them but like you said mainly i go to these but i do find myself in tight situations yeah the head so thin on the those, head so thin right. um so i have used these quite a bit just having them in my pocket mm -hmm. just now if well what's your opinion on the no button ones the way these just slide versus the button i like the button better i do too uh i like the button better because when i'm really gripping down on something that's just extra support to keep that from pushing mm -hmm. back uh i know the way they got the teeth and stuff they uh they're not supposed to slip back and, and they really don't if you can keep enough pressure right. right here but one thing that i've noticed when you go to like if you're got a socket or whatever or you're trying to break one loose when you go to try to do it it automatically forces this trying to force it open mm -hmm. of course if, if you let it do it you're just going to slip around it but that's something else that that button will keep from happening yeah. it'll force it open but it won't ever slide down so, show everybody the difference and how they work so this one here you just actually pull it pull it open and slide it down this one here you can fully open it like that that's as far open as it'll go but it will not come down you have to press the button mm -hmm. so most most bolts are bigger than this to this right so my thing is if it's all if it's already bigger than this when i step it down or up to it if it starts to go it will not go it mm -hmm. won't round because it can't open up any further yeah whereas with this one it'll open up that far on the very first one mm -hmm. well that's bigger than most bolts are anyway uh I'm not trying to take away from these because I really like them. I carry them every day. But when I go to try to break something loose with it, it's almost like I got a super grip right here mm -hmm. to keep them from spreading yeah, over. Yeah, that's what I've noticed. Whereas mm -hmm. with this pair, and the really good thing with this pair and what they showed for a long time was you can put these on a bar and stand on it and they don't slip. Mm -hmm. Well, with these, one of the things that I've noticed is, yeah, you can stand on them and, and do all that. But like I said, when you start to do that, that torque around it starts to try That's to spread these tries open to push open yeah. and when it tries to push open well now we've got that much space mm -hmm. if i don't have the strength in my hand to hold it which some people might I, i've just noticed i think it was she has a heat press and she makes some stuff and uh, i pull them out of my pocket and try to break the bolts loose to because it's got it had a electrical problem inside either way it would want to open up on me and it was just a small nut you know mm -hmm. it was super tight though yeah these i could go up to it put it on it find the right setting and when i went to push down it didn't matter if they tried to spread open because mm -hmm. they wasn't they wasn't big enough to do that and it's i believe it's because of the button but also on that uh the button style has teeth in the front and back mm -hmm. that's that much more torque that you can put on those pliers right. whereas these here Just only have one, the one side. side which again and i know people's going to point it out these are bigger so yeah you have more torque these are made for small quick right. stuff again guys i'm not trying to take away from these i really like them i think they're going to sell great when we get them on the truck i'm sure they're already selling great uh through nipix and wherever else may have them uh i keep them in my pocket but again i like the handles and i like 
uh, the size of both mm -hmm. of them, but I, I like these being smaller. I feel like if they put the button on here and put the handles, this would be my go-to pliers. Yeah, me too. Um, <clears throat> but with that being said, these, these I like these um, for a multitude of reasons. But Like the only thing I could say, like you say, it's harder to get those red handles inside a pocket. They kind of, yeah. it's harder to get them out, you know. Well, and the thing about that, I think so. that kind of proves the point of, that's why I like them better. I know you're thinking, well, mm -hmm. why would you want it? That just shows it's got the that grip. much more grip. Yep. And, and I know... I know that we want uh, to be able to carry them in my pocket and stuff. I'd rather try a little harder to get them out of my pocket as mm -hmm. to when I go to try to break that bolt loose, it try to spread on me. Um, but that's just an honest t uh, review on my part, I think, uh, mm -hmm. on everybody's part. Uh, if you can point out the good and the bad of something, then, then you're not trying to just yeah. uh, push the product. But, yeah, um, like you said, I good, really bad. liked them the first you know, when I first got them out of the pack, yeah. I thought, man, these are perfect. Like, I wouldn't change a thing. And then after, like you say, I used them a little while, I'm like, man, I wish they had that button there. And that way it wouldn't yeah. be as forceful, you know, when you're putting out on them. And then, I don't know, I just, I like that red grip that's yeah. on the Nipix. I just, it feels good in your hand, yeah. you know. So, um, in all honesty, when, I, when she first, she actually ordered them, and they were going to be hers. And I was like, well, I'm going to carry them. So I took them away from her. But, uh, <laughs> I mean, if she wanted them, she could get them. But either way, and I carried them for probably two weeks and never did nothing with them. And I talked about how much I loved them, how great they was, how they were changing everything. But then I went to use them the first time. Mm -hmm. And when I went to use them the first time, I was kind of disappointed. And the disappointment came. We've kind of repeated and repeated and repeated. When it went to turn, it wanted to spread open, and I didn't have that torque. And I was yep. like, oh, wait a minute. you know. So I ended up having to go get a socket. And even then... Um, I had to, I, I wanted to make sure I used it, you know, and I, I, even then I was having to put so much pressure, I just ended up going to get a wrench and putting these back in my pocket. See, I prefer the Nipex with the button over the ones that's got the alligator See, style. Uh, yeah, and I'm, I, I'm the same way, and that's preference. I have people about, since you said that, I'll grab some off the ceiling and we'll talk about those too. But the, I know the ones we looked at on your truck that had the red insert where they was like quick, you know, you could quick push them up or yeah. whatever you call it i don't know what the so technical we, term well they is, were called they were they were the uh quick adjust i sold them yesterday at uh shop but um so the alligator style is a, a, a lot different than both it's got like a half moon deal mm -hmm. but if you'll notice it's still on the first notch yep i mean even to get it to move you got to move it that much so we know it's not going to shift, but when I'm going to break that bolt loose, I've got that much. Mm -hmm. Now these are bigger, uh, and so you're going to hold it without slipping, no problem. I understand that, um, but it's still I like the button better because uh, I've got less opening there. Mm -hmm. So I like that. Well, the alligator was the first because I kept hearing about nipex, nipex, nipex. Yeah. I was like, man, I'm going to get me a pair. So the first pair I bought was the alligator style. And then I was like, man, these are great. And then I bought a smaller pair and I seen the button style. So I'll try these. And after that, I didn't ever want to use those again. Yeah. <laughs> so, and the, the main difference comes off, uh, in my opinion, on both of these styles, because of the way the teeth are made, they don't have a stop. They're, they're, there's not a stop. Right. If you look on these, the way they cross each other, they have to have a stop there mm -hmm. because of the way that it does it. And and that may not that may not seem like a lot to people, and I've never had it do it. And I know if it ever did it, they would warranty it out, no problem. But if that starts getting worn down and it starts slipping over something, it's like that pair of pliers that you try to use that pinches your hand. Mm -hmm. I'm throwing them at that point. Yeah. So I've never had it happen. I've never seen it happen. But that's just one of my fears when they have to have a a stop like that. It's like oh, you know. Mm -hmm. But Nipix is the best pliers out there. I know for a fact that if, if something happened and you brought it to my truck, I would just hand you another pair. Yeah. Like, uh, you know, you, you see where, like, we won't name other, this ain't any tool trucks, but we know where, like, in stores sometimes they don't want to warranty them because of the teeth. They mm -hmm. say that's a wearable item. On a tool truck, almost every tool truck will just hand you another pair. Right. Uh, we charge more for a reason, and that's because of the warranty. But 
Uh, yeah, I've, I've sold several set of these, and people uh, like these better because they can a quick adjust like that. Mm -hmm. uh, going down is a little harder because you got to find the sweet spot, but they say they can do that right there and be back up to the top. Yeah. I get that. The button's not that way. You've got mm -hmm. to press the button. Um, but that's why I like the quick adjust, too, because mm -hmm. I can press that button, and I can adjust it just to so, you know, that's all I got to do. So... People yep. say, you know, that's that's the number one. Well, I can just if I'm working on it, I got I ain't got but one hand. I can just do that. Mm -hmm. Well, I can do it with these two. So, yeah. you know, I don't. It, the personal preference. I'm I'm like you. I like the button. I know the button gets a uh, war, and at times it's kind of hard to press. That's where you take it back to your dealer, dealer and say, Hey, look, you right. know, the reason I bought these are not working anymore. <laughs> so, I need you to warrant them. But, oh, well, I definitely like them. See, she oh, sure. took her flowers back. I won't get them. I have to let her forget about them now. <laughs> she'll lay like a little kid. She'll lay them down and you can get them back. Uh, I do the same thing. Like randomly, I'll be like, "Where'd my flowers go?" She's like, "Left them in your pants." Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've left mine in my pants a bunch of times, especially the little ones. Yeah, uh, and I, I still use those a lot. It, it wouldn't be practical for uh, most of my users, but I use them around the truck a lot, pulling staples because everything's stapled. Mm -hmm. And when you pull the product off, well, that's just a quick little pliers to pull the staples off. Uh, and I and with the little ones, I think like battery cables and stuff that would be perfect. Yeah. But I like these because I can go up to a 10, 12, uh, you know, and, and possibly a 14 bolt. And yeah. if it ain't just super torqued, I can break it loose. I've yeah. done a lot of stuff with yeah. them little pliers right there. Yeah, I kept between a pair. that and that little multi tool that I keep on my side because yeah. they got a. I got the needle nose version of them. It saved a lot of walking back and forth to the toolbox. Because if I pull a fuse, every single time I use my multipliers. Yeah. Well, and see, around. I wasn't ever, my grandpa was the kind of person that, um, he did construction, but he always had, like, the quick change bits for his drills. Mm -hmm. He always had them. He had the actual bit holders. He always had those in his pocket. Like, when he emptied his pockets, he had all kind of little gadgets and gadgets and yeah. all kind of tools in his pocket. I was never that way. These pliers, I have noticed that I catch myself if they ain't in, if I don't have my knife and my pliers in my pocket, we've got a problem. I'm a flashlight. I gotta have my flashlight. Wow, somebody yeah. needs to talk. See, my it? phone went off. Here's one. <laughs> <laughs> but I gotta have my flashlight. I'd rather have my flashlight as a pocket knife. Yeah. Well. And then when my multi tech, pliers. Yeah. And then my pocket screwdriver. That's my. Yeah, well, when I was a tech, that was me. I had to have my flashlight. Mm -hmm. Now that I sell tools more than I use them, I gotta have my pocket knife because I'm always getting packages. Yeah, I gotta have my pliers because they're just random stuff that I find throughout the day. I mean, this these come in handy at the house all the time. Mm -hmm. It's just random stuff. And then I gotta have. Uh, recently, I've started. I've gotta have my notebook. I don't know what it is about my little notebook, but if I don't have my notebook. I feel lost. Yeah. If somebody tells me. I guess. I, I guess I'm so much. Saying. I'm the I, same way. I got to have my little notebook, and it's full of stuff. And if like I don't That have, is my battery. You know, I don't have to worry about the batteries. It was like, well, you got notes on your phone. Yeah, but I don't have to worry about keeping my phone. See, I don't have to worry about batteries. That was actually brought up at one of our um, meetings before we went to this whole virtual thing. We were sitting somewhere, and I, I said, yeah, I got to keep my notebook. And <laughs> Joe, uh, we all know Joe. Joe is big into electronics, so he's like, just use your phone. I'm like, uh. Like, I hate texting. I That's, do, too. If I'm, somebody texts me, I'm probably going to call them. I'm like, going to write it down. I cannot stand like it's, to put notes in my phone. I know I drive people crazy because they'll shoot me that quick text. It's like, hey, blah, 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 and I'll call them. Hey, so you want this? And yeah, okay, yeah. okay I'll order it. But it's just, I, I like to hear it, but mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I know I know that gets on people's nerves. <laughs> um, probably hers, but I'm going to call. That is the first thing I'm going to do. Yeah. I'm going to call. That's somebody true. somebody else say, hey, run my payment. And it's like, eh, do I call them? And she's like, just run the payment. I'm like, well, I, maybe I, they may not want my payment. She's like, just run it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I'm trying to get better. I don't know. Yeah. But, well, you don't have to worry about the, you know, your phone accidentally erasing your notes if you got it written on paper and put in your pocket. Like, that's foolproof. It's worked for hundreds of years. So, so Flawlessly. Yeah. You know? <laughs> I know this is kind of a, a opinion kind of thing, but working with customers every day, uh, the the only thing that gets on my nerves is when I'm talking to somebody and they pull their phone out and they start they scrolling through it, 
my first thing is, well, they're on, they're not even listening to me. They're looking at Facebook or whatever it may be, mm-hmm. and that gets on my nerves. So I try to keep my phone away at all times. So mm-hmm. if I feel like if somebody's talking to me and I pull out my phone and I start taking that note, they're going to think that I'm texting, and then it's going to be like, well, just screw it. Well, too, when you see your tool guy write it down, John wants a 13-millimeter 12-point. You know you're getting a 13-millimeter 12-point. It ain't going to be like, I got your half inch. Well, no, I, I need a 13. Oh. Well, and. Okay, that'll be here next week. And, and <laughs> uh, another thing, if we're on the truck, that it, it automatically gets ordered right then. Yeah. Unless it's, hey, can you call and check on this? And that's what I get a lot of. Can you call and check on this? Can mm-hmm. you call and check on that? But when. I'm not saying a lot of customers do this, but I've had customers that say, hey, get me two of these. Okay. And they come in and, like, well, I ordered two. It's like. Yeah, you ordered yeah. two. I like, wrote it down right here. Are, are, you, are you sure I ordered two? Yeah, man, right here. I, mean, I wrote it and I highlighted it when I ordered it. Because yeah. I, I do that. I highlight it when I order it or call and check on it. I highlight it to let me know that that's done. You ain't got to go back. And uh, and then she's like, oh, okay. Yeah. And then, you know, or uh, uh, one, you know, you hey, I, I want to order this. Okay. And it comes in and say, okay, well, it's probably going to take a little while. That's fine. Well, when it finally comes in, it's like, I ordered that? It's like, yeah. It's like, really? And it's like, yep. And if I write, write it down, normally... Put the date on it. I put the date yep. on it or what vehicle you were telling me it was on. Mm-hmm. And, I, and I can go, well, yeah, you was working on a 01 Toyota Tacoma. You're right. I needed that. Here, yep. let me go ahead and get it. And it's like, okay. There Which, you, you know, a, a lot of times if it's something simple, then, you know, if they forget about it. It's like, that's okay. I'll put it on the truck. Mm-hmm. But, you know... It, it is what it is. But. That's a good tool dealer right there is what that is. Well, that's just a, a forgetful one that has to write it down. <laughs> when I first started, I could keep it all in my head. And as the customer started to grow and the yeah. text, more text messages started coming in, it was like, oof. You know, I, I don't want to forget. Um, I think the, the one thing that as a tech would make me mad is a distributor saying, yeah, I ordered it. It just ain't in yet. And then mm-hmm. me finding out that it never got ordered. That would make me mad. So. Yeah. Uh, don't lie to me. Just tell That's me the true. truth. We've definitely seen that before. Well, so. uh, that would get on my nerve. You know, if I, <laughs> That's right. It, it does. And, you know, I, I've had it happen to me in the past, ordering parts or whatever. Yeah, we ordered it. It's like, okay. And then, you know, you somehow find out that, oh, wait a minute, they never ordered that. And, and it's happened to me more or less at different dealerships when I'd call and, and order something and it would be like, yeah, yeah, we've got it ordered. And you call back and you don't talk to that person. And it's mm-hmm. like, man, it was never ordered. It didn't get ordered till yesterday. yesterday. And it's yep. like, wait, what? I was told that it would be in the day because it was ordered three days ago. Uh-huh. And it's like, well, and I mean, we just had a package that got rerouted because somebody, but their excuse at the place that we called to see why the package was getting rerouted was, well, somebody didn't know what they were doing. That, that's, that's aggravating it's like you, well what, that's not my fault i needed you know, or i wouldn't have ordered it yeah. well and, and and it's as many stuff as we get delivered you know our name mm-hmm. like you knew to send us a text to tell us it was getting ready to, you know why not just say hey come pick it up at the, the wherever the stop yeah. out told but you know it's, instead of rerouting it how about you just hold it and let mm-hmm. me come get it you text me to tell me <laughs> so it, you know it is what it is but. Well, yeah. The frustrations of everyday life, right? Well, I guess we're going to try to get a full tank of fuel down and shove a fuel pump in a Ford Taurus. So. Yeah, I would say I had a good tool for that, but I sold it yesterday. That would be fun. I don't know if you've ever had one, but the Magic Siphon Hoses work good for that. Mm-hmm. I got one of them. Yeah, they work good. But I'm hoping my transmission jack will allow me to set it down without doing any of that. Well... Because I don't know if you know this or not, but I despise the smell of gasoline. I'd rather lay down in a bathtub full of diesel fuel and soak in it as I had to wipe my face with a gas rag. I hate the smell of gasoline. Gas don't bother me. It's rear end oil. Yeah, I, can't. I don't like it either. It, it makes my arms break out. I hate rear end oil. I've worked in it a lot, but I hate it. Like when we first started, I refused to work on anything gasoline in that shop. <laughs> so. Uh, all right guys like always thanks for watching if you like the video be sure to hit that thumbs up uh check over here for merchandise cool tools and discount codes over here if you're not subscribed take your finger punch that button it's free y'all have a great week and we will catch y'all next time
再见。